how is the housing market in Pitt County, North Carolina? Um, we're going to explain all of the numbers, all the data, so you can talk about inventory is on market because you need to know this information. It's one thing that the Fed has cut their interest rate, which is amazing and helpful. But one of the other things we need to look at is what is actually happening in our own market and what is it a buyer's market, is it a seller's market, is it the time to buy, is it the time to sell? And that is why we do these videos for you every single month so you can make informed decisions. Exactly. I'm been recording this video in month of October and all of the data actually comes from the September that just we finished and without any further ado we wanted to talk about inventory and inventory rate in Pitt County North Carolina and part of it is active homes we have 480 homes in September 2024 in August 2024 this number was 460 and September 2023 last year this number was 335 which put us at 43.3 percent of increase in active homes now for pending which is under contract homes so 43 percent increase from last year is a significant amount of active homes under contract homes is a little different it's 200 this month up from 180 the month before so 20 more under contract and it's up from 158 last year so it is up 26 percent but not that 43 percent so we're going to dig into this data a little bit more coming soon but tell me about sold exactly as part of this equation super important 154 homes in months of September 2024 172 homes in August 2024 and 186 homes in September 2023 which put us at 17.2 percent decrease from last year to this year now this means that if you're now again we're going to get into new construction we're going to get into is it mm -hmm. time to sell and buy we're going to dig into those numbers more but for now we're looking at is this and what is the inventory rate which is active plus pending divided by recently sold in the last 30 days this gives us a number if this number is under six it's a selling market if it's over six buyers market obviously um, and the more it is to the one and the zero the faster it is the slower it's gonna go higher it's gonna go 10 12 those are really really slow markets so with that we're talking about 4.42 months for the month of September the month before that was 3.73 the year before that was 2.65 so it is actually what 66.79 percent increase from last year to this year but before we go and talk about average days in the market what is going on with the prices of the house what is the recommendation we're going to do our introduction absolutely let's hit it hi it's Alvatore. welcome to our channel and podcast and if this is your first time in our podcast and youtube channel make sure you subscribe and get notified also you can call text all the time 252 we love talking to you don't be shy also grab our buyer's guide and seller's guide in the description below now with days on market talk to me average days on the market actually got in the pitt county north carolina september 2024 was 52 days however august 2024 was 40 days and september 2023 was 57 from last year to this year, actually, we decreased 8.77%. Now, let's talk about median list price and medium sold price. Median list price is how much it was initially put into the MLS for, what is happening in the MLS, and then the second one is, of course, sold price, which is never typically the same house because median is the middle number. So the middle number in a spreadsheet is going to give us data. It's, and but of course, the data could be skewed one way into mansions, one way into shacks. Uh, we don't know, but we're looking at the middle number because it gives us data. And and this data will going to to be important so median list in uh, September 2024 this number was 295,000 even in August 24 was the same number 295,000 even in September 2023 this number was three hundred two thousand two hundred dollars which put us at 2.38 percent decrease from last year to this year now, with Media recently sold, it was two sixty nine nine fifty. The month before that was two hundred and seventy four. The year before that was two seventy. So it is actually down very, very small, at point zero two percent. Exactly. Therefore, now we wanted to introduce a quick and dirty way of. Uh, actually calculating your price of the home of course the price of a home is if is not brand new and is pre-owned depends on the location and upgrade that it has it might vary but saying that price for all brand new construction including townhouse condo and single family home in Pitt County North Carolina was $168 per square feet now for pre-owned single-family home townhome condos everything included was $156 a square foot now let's talk about just single-family homes if you have single-family home in Pitt County 
it was brand new $174 per square feet. And if it was pre-owned, like you've lived in it a couple years, $163 a square foot. Now, we wanted to dive more detail on inventory and see what portion of the market inventory is dedicated to brand new or and what portion to the pre-owned one. Right, so for September, which just happened, a new construction was 3.4 months. The month before that was 3.6, so it's actually down about 5% month over month. Whereas and previously owned? If you look at the pre-owned one, 1 1.7 months for months of September 2024 and two months for months of August 2024, actually we are 15% down from that inventory. Now what we're doing recently is just looking at the information in the case and just looking at what the inventory is for homes that hit the market in the month that just happened. So for September that just happened, we're going to look at single family homes, townhomes, condos, and really kind of break down the numbers and give you the percentages of these numbers. Exactly. Therefore in months of October, we had uh, homes for I mean, we're recording in October for September, we had brand new single family home, 86 homes in the market, and for pre-owned we had 130, which put us at 216. Which is 77% of the market share. Now, townhomes are 35 for brand new, 20 for pre-owned, which was a 55, which brings us to 19.71% of the market is townhomes. Or 20%. Uh, and if you look in condo at the time of this video, we didn't have a brand new condo that is building, but we had eight pre-owned condo, which put us at the market share of almost 3%. Now with days on market, we look, we try to break this down as well, just so we really can understand which ones are selling faster. Now if you have a single family home and it's brand new, it's typically sitting in the market 66 days. If it's pre-owned, 28 days, which is about 57% turnaround time for these pre-owned properties. Exactly, and if you had a brand new town homes, this, um, uh, basically average days on the market was 126 uh, days for brand, for brand new and for pre-owned was 22 days which put us at more than 82% turnaround quicker for the pre-owned one. Now if you're looking at the mean home value, mean home is a weighted average. A weighted average is going to tell us basically the appreciation factor for the year because it's a weighted average. So they're factoring out the shack, they're factoring out the mansions, and they're giving us a middle number that's based on so a little bit more data. So with that, the mean home in September was 242,855. The August was 243,197. Last year at this time, 234,897, which is actually a year over year change of 3.4% appreciation. Now talk to me about rent. The rentals market is pretty uh, steady, let's say, from the last months, and then pretty much in Pitt County for median rent for all bedrooms are 1,383, the median number, and it could up to $5,400. Now, if you are thinking of buying a home, let me tell you a lot of reasons why you should work with me and then also why you should be buying a home or thinking about it. Um, one, you wanna find something that is in your price point. You, I don't recommend going something you can't afford. Definitely stick to your price point 100% of the time because it's going to make sure that you are in a position to continue building wealth for yourself. So you're going to make that home your own, make it something that is going to fit for you and your family. It's gonna be something that you can live in for the rest of your life and it is honestly the biggest investment of your choice. So making sure something is affordable long term is going to help with the budget overall and of course we try to help everybody and try to help find you the best deals every single time because my job is to help you not to like hurt you. And what about exactly. selling? If you're a seller uh, looking at the data we had is still something between three to three and a half percent appreciation from last year to this year pre-owned home actually they're less in the market as we said 1.7 months in the market less than a brand new construction and they stay in the market four weeks or 28 days therefore definitely you need to connect with us Alan Victoria Pinder real estate agent professionals in Pitt County North Carolina that we can offer you our professional services and how we can get you the top dollar and don't forget to watch all of our playlists here, all the guys of buying or selling or buying selling at the same time. And also don't forget to push that subscribe button and write us comment and support us and see you next time.